This has been a long time coming. This GP30 has looked like heck for a long time. Been at the museum 18 years. And as Jeff said, we've done some work to it, but <laughs> it's getting a new paint job and it's gonna look cool. Getting some time-lapse footage, hopefully it turns out good. We're doing it the way that EMD did too, where we shoot the orange first and do the lettering first and then put the black on top, which sounds backwards, but it's how the paint sat. So you can see that the 3011 and then the Rio Grande is already lettered and up there and painted full coatage and or full coverage and fully coated and everything and then the orange stripe has been shot now it's reverse masked and time to toss the black on it's gonna look great
It's no longer the Rio G. <laughs> it really does. It changed so much. It did. That's cool. It's looking cool, man. Of all of the tools that I thought you'd ever have to use on a locomotive, a pair of tweezers is 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 really not really not at all on my list. That looks so much better than it's looked in years. And now it looks No, it's just sad. Does it feel like Christmas, Dusty? Yeah, I just Go away, Irish. I'll taunt you a second time. <laughs>